Recall that we discussed the property of continuity of functions in a very intuitive way. But now we have limit of functions and now we can specify exactly what we mean by f being continuous. So we use the following definition. So we use the following definition that f is continuous f is continuous in A, where A belongs to the domain of f. So f is continuous in some element in its domain, if and only if the limit for x approaching A of fx equals f of A. So as an illustration, look at the following picture. where there's an f as follows. So we see a couple of jumps. In A we see a jump and in B we see a jump. In which case we would not like to call f continuous. So this is a graph. But we see that actually f is continuous at C. So, why is f continuous at c? Well, if we move, if we approach c over here and over here from the right and the, uh, right and the left hand side, then we see that the graph is actually very nicely moving to the f of c. But clearly, f is not continuous in a and b because we have jumps. We cannot make the values of f over here close enough to the, the function value in b by choosing x close enough to b over here. But what we do see is actually that f is right continuous at a. If we choose x is, if, if we approach x from the right hand side to a, then we see that actually the function values move along to the f of a. So f is called right continuous at a if the limit of x approaching a from the right of fx equals the f of a. And f is called left continuous at a if the limit of x approaching a from the left or the limit of x to a minus fx equals f of a. Now you try to answer whether or not the function is left continuous in A or right continuous in B. So we have that F is right continuous in A, left continuous in B. Now the question is, is F left continuous in A or left continuous in B?